Hello and welcome to my channel, where I share tips and insights on how to achieve financial freedom. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most successful investors of all time, Warren Buffett, and how he would invest with a small amount of money. Warren Buffett is the co-founder, chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, a holding company that owns dozens of businesses and has a market value of over $600 billion. He is widely regarded as the Oracle of Omaha for his remarkable track record of beating the market and creating wealth for himself and his shareholders. As of December 2023, he had a net worth of $120 billion, making him the ninth richest person in the world. But how did he achieve this level of success? And more importantly, how can we learn from his investing philosophy and apply it to our own situation, especially if we have a small amount of money to start with? To answer these questions, we need to go back to the beginning of Buffett's journey, when he was just a young boy growing up in Omaha, Nebraska. Buffett was born in 1930, during the Great Depression, and witnessed the hardships and struggles of many people around him. He developed an interest in business and investing at an early age, and started earning money by delivering newspapers, selling gum and magazines, and working at his father's grocery store. He also read a lot of books on finance and investing, and one of them changed his life forever. It was The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham, a Columbia University professor and the father of value investing. Value investing is a strategy that involves buying stocks that are undervalued by the market, based on their intrinsic value, which is determined by analyzing the company's financial statements, competitive advantages, growth prospects, and future earnings potential. Buffett was fascinated by Graham's approach, and decided to enroll in Columbia Business School to study under him. He learned the principles of value investing from Graham, and also met his future business partner and friend, Charlie Munger, who shared his passion for finding bargains in the stock market. After graduating from Columbia, Buffett started his own investment partnership in 1956, with $100,000 of capital from his family and friends. He applied the value investing strategy to his portfolio, and achieved an average annual return of 29.5% over the next 13 years, outperforming the S&P 500 index by a wide margin. In 1962, Buffett discovered a textile company called Berkshire Hathaway, which was trading at a low price compared to its book value. He bought a large stake in the company, and eventually took control of it in 1965. He used Berkshire Hathaway as a vehicle to acquire other businesses that met his criteria of being undervalued, well-managed, and profitable. Some of these businesses include Geico, Coca-Cola, American Express, Apple, and Bank of America. Over the years, Buffett transformed Berkshire Hathaway from a struggling textile manufacturer into a diversified conglomerate that generated billions of dollars in revenue and earnings. He also rewarded his loyal shareholders by increasing the value of Berkshire's stock from $19 per share in 1965 to over $400,000 per share in 2023, a staggering increase of more than 20,000 times. So, what can we learn from Buffett's amazing story? And how can we invest like him, even if we have a small amount of money? Here are some of the key takeaways and tips that I think are useful for anyone who wants to follow Buffett's footsteps. 1. Start early and be consistent. Buffett started investing when he was 11 years old, and never stopped. He also reinvested his profits and let them compound over time, which is the most powerful way to grow your wealth. The earlier you start, the more time you have to benefit from the magic of compounding. And the more consistent you are, the more likely you are to achieve your financial goals. 2. Learn the basics of investing and finance. Buffett read a lot of books and articles on investing in finance and learned from the best mentors and teachers. He also developed his investing philosophy and style based on his knowledge and experience. You don't need to have a degree in finance or economics to be a successful investor, but you do need to have a basic understanding of how the market works, how to analyze companies and stocks, how to diversify your portfolio, and how to manage your risk and emotions. 3. Invest in what you know and understand. Buffett only invests in businesses that he can comprehend and evaluate and that have a strong competitive advantage and long-term growth potential. 
he avoids investing in industries or sectors that he is not familiar with or that are too complex or speculative. He also does his own research and due diligence and does not follow the crowd or the latest trends. You should do the same and invest in what you are passionate about and knowledgeable about and that have a proven track record of delivering value to their customers and shareholders. 4. Look for value, not price. Buffett is a value investor, which means he looks for stocks that are trading below their intrinsic value or the true worth of the business. He does not care about the price or the market sentiment of the stock, as long as he can buy it at a discount to its value. He also does not sell his stocks unless there is a change in the fundamentals of the business, or he finds a better opportunity elsewhere. He holds his stocks for the long term, and enjoys the dividends and capital appreciation that they provide. You should also adopt a value investing mindset, and look for stocks that are cheap, but not poor quality. You should also focus on the long term, and not be swayed by the short-term fluctuations of the market. 5. Invest in index funds or ETFs. Buffett is a big fan of index funds or ETFs, which are collections of stocks that track the performance of a specific market or sector. He believes that most investors, both individual and institutional, will be better off investing in low-cost index funds or ETFs, rather than trying to beat the market by picking individual stocks or hiring expensive fund managers. He says that index funds or ETFs offer diversification, simplicity, and low fees, and that they will outperform the majority of active investors over time. You should also consider investing in index funds or ETFs, especially if you are a beginner or have a small amount of money. You can choose from a variety of index funds or ETFs that cover different markets, sectors, themes, or strategies, and that suit your risk appetite and return expectations. These are some of the main lessons and tips that I learned from Warren Buffett, and that I hope will help you in your investing journey. I hope you enjoyed this video, and found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below with your thoughts and feedback. Also, let me know what other topics or questions you would like me to cover in my future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy investing!